your town where you're from Ikerikiti is one of the town that is notorious for uh what they call yahoo plus or yahoo yahoo i think it is one i uh, carry has been mentioned as one uh this is some of the when you look at the way young people go into ritual killing uh in search of wealth you would think that this hope is one thing that has been lost how do you how do you think that hope can be restored well the truth about it is that there's a lot of difference between wealth and money hmm. most people are chasing money as an entity, money is not wealth. Money is money and money has no value when it cannot do anything. Unfortunately, wealth is much more than that. Yes. Safety, health, satisfaction, hope for the future. You see, when you have now quantified your life in only concrete terms that how much money you have makes you a wealthy man then the society becomes corrupt the young people who are doing this unfortunately what i see is that maybe my generation or maybe the generation before me have failed them because we now have a a, a, a community who uses words like oppressors rather than enablers hmm. you understand you if you are doing well in a community you have a nice car you have a nice home and nothing like you know call that person a bubble oppressor oppressor is not a kind word is not a hope giving word is a word that you think that you are down it makes you feel less makes human you feel less than that person and then these young men have no work to look forward to. When they have work, they don't expect promotions. They do not have a path up to anything that will give them something to look forward to. Then the society has a problem. And then when the people who are leading them instead of them being enablers they have become cataracts to them they obstruct their views of life they obstruct their path to growth their path to become people teachers need to teach so students can learn leaders have to teach how to solve problems and deal with issues those are things we need but it's not really totally lost. We have societies that are doing that over and over. The only thing that has changed or changes in a good society everywhere I've gone is that the leaders show hope. They enable people coming behind them. And that's what we are lacking. In a kitty, you, you blame those boys or I'm not saying Yahoo Yahoo is right. I wouldn't wish any of my child become Yahoo Yahoo. I four of them. None of them is going to be that. But I, I wonder sometimes if I was as smart as I was. I'm not sure if I'm still is. But if I was as smart as I was and I left university first year, two years, three years, four years. And there was no job. And there was no job and somebody is oppressing me. Don't you think um a a fatal soul for doing something diabolical hmm. i think the, the 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 way none of those kids want to risk going to jail or dying or being labeled as bad we need to change the narrative and instead of us just blaming them we need to look at our society and find a way to help. But what I see to redirect their energy. Yes, yeah, so to change that direct their energy. Instead of making them Yahoo Yahoo boys, why don't we make them the Zuckerbergs of this world? Why don't we teach them how to produce? The major problem in this part of the world is that we do not have a productive economy. We do not produce things. We just consume. We just consume. 
So the young people have attached wealth to mean that you're wearing a designer shirt or designer shoes and you don't have to explain where that comes from. We need to change that. No, no white person wears designer shoes to define